Hello, this question is about Darcy's law. So the question is, consider a packed bed consisting of two distinct layers, each with its own thickness and saturated hydraulic conductivity, represented by L1, KS1, L2, KS2, as illustrated in this figure. So here, layer 1, layer 2, and KS1, KS2. A constant height of water B is maintained continuously on the top surface and the bottom of the column is open to atmosphere. Okay, so the question is express the water flux through the packed bed as a function of L1, KS1, L2, KS2, and B. And the second part of the question is assume B is equal to 10 cm, L1, KS1, L2, KS2, the values are given, then calculate the hydrostatic pressure at the interface between the two layers. Okay, this is the interface, what's the hydrostatic pressure between these two layers? Okay, so Let's first draw this column here. So you have this column consisting of two layers. That is layer 2, KS2. This is layer 1, KS1. And this is water. Here the, the thickness is B. Here the thickness is L1. And here the thickness is L2. Okay? And the water is flowing down here. You have the downward flux. And the, assume the reference is at the outlet basically. Okay, and so the question is, you basically express the value of Q as a function of L1, L2, KS1, KS2, and B. Okay, to solve this question, first we have to basically name, uh, basically you need to apply the Dorsey's law across the entire column. So let's, let's label the outlet by point, uh, or let's label the inlet point 1 the interface between layer 1 and layer 2, point 2, and the outlet, point 3, okay? And let's now calculate the, um, basically, let's write the Dorsey's law for each layer, okay? So for layer 1, the KS1, Q, is equal to minus, based on the Dorsey's law, minus KS1 times uh, H1, minus H2, okay, that is the hydraulic head at point 1 minus hydraulic head at point 2, divided by Z1, okay, minus Z2. So Z1, the, uh, the, the, uh, the position of point 1 is L1 plus L2, minus Z2, which is L2, therefore the result will be L1, okay? And this flux, okay, and this flux is equal to the, f this is the flux flowing through the layer 1, that flux is equal to the flux flowing through layer 2. And that is equal to minus Ks2 times, that is H2 minus H3, based on Dorsey's law, divided by Z2 minus Z1. Z2 is L2. Uh, sorry, um, divided by Z2 minus Z3. Z2 is L2 because the reference level is here and Z3 is equal to 0 because it is located on the reference level. So L2 minus 0 will be L2. Okay? Uh, from the first part of this equation, this one, you can conclude that H2 is equal to H1 plus Q times L1 divided by Ks1. And from this side of the equation, because this is as well as equal to Q, you can calculate H2, it's a simple algebra, H2 will be equal to minus uh, Q L2 Ks2 plus H3. Because here you have H2, here as well you have H2. So here I express H2 as a function of the rest, here as well I express H2 as a function of the rest. So I get these two. And now I can equate these two expressions based because both are H2. So basically I can write H1 plus Q times L1 divided by Ks1 is equal to minus Q times L2 divided by Ks2 plus H3. Okay? So you can basically... Uh, now uh, rearrange this equation and from this equation you can simply basically put q on one side the rest on the other side and then you can calculate q will be equal to 
minus h1 minus h3 divided by l1 over ks1 plus l2 over ks2 okay i simply just bring everything on this side h1 on the other side or the other way around and then you end up with this expression but the question was uh, to express q as a function of l1 l2 b ks1 ks2 but here in this expression you have h1 and h3 so you need to get rid of them so but that is easy because we know h1 is equal to that is the hydraulic head at that point one is equal to the um, basic pressure potential plus gravitational potential pressure potential here is equal to b because that is the distance between the point of interest and the, the free surface water that is b plus gravitational potential which is since the reference is here is l1 plus l2 so that's l1 plus l2 and then uh, for h2 um, for h3 sorry for h3 that will be equal to here again gravitational potential that is zero plus pressure potential since it is introduced to the atmosphere is equal to zero therefore h1 minus h3 you can simply write uh, b plus l1 plus l2 in other words q will be equal to minus in instead of h1 minus h3 i i write b plus l1 plus l2 minus h3 that is zero divided by uh, l1 over ks1 plus l2 over ks2 and that is the uh, final answer to the part one of this question so here we have q as a function of l1 l2 b ks1 and ks2 okay and the second part of this question is about so now the values are given okay the values are given the question is calculate the hydrostatic pressure at the interface between the two layers okay so using the equation that we just derived that was q equal to minus l1 plus l2 plus b divided by l1 over ks1 plus l2 over ks2 using this equation and this value is given i can calculate the flux across this column so the column here I have uh, I have here uh, layer two, layer one, and then that was the water. Okay, uh, so I can calculate the Q across this column. So Q will be equal to minus L one is equal to seventy five, L two is equal to twenty five, and B is equal to ten, divided by L one is seventy five divided by 25 that is ks1 plus l2 is 25 divided by ks2 that is 5 okay and that will be equal to minus 13.75 centimeter per hour so that's the flux okay so the question is what is the uh, hydrostatic pressure at the interface between layer 1 and layer 2 so here uh, basically the question is what is the psi p at this point okay and to calculate that you can apply Dorsey's law since now the q is known uh, it is relatively straightforward to calculate the um, potential at the interface for example you can write the Dorsey's law for this layer 2 so if you write the Dorsey's law q will be equal to minus k uh, s2 that second layer times h2 because here that was if you remember that was 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.1 so h2 minus h3 z2 minus z, z3 okay so minus ks uh, and, and that will be equal to minus ks2 and uh, in a set of h2 at this point uh, the hydraulic head at this point is equal to uh, pressure potential which we don't know plus gravitational potential and gravitational potential since reference was here that was the reference so gravitational potential will be basically the vertical distance between the point of interest and the reference level and the thickness here was uh, l2 so that will be l2 uh, minus h3 and we already calculated the h3 was equal to zero because gravitational head is equal to zero Hydra pressure potential is equal to zero since the 
uh, it is introduced to the atmosphere divided by z2 minus z3 again z2 will be equal, equal to l2 z3 is equal to uh, uh, zero so now in this equation you have everything except the uh, except uh, psi p so you have uh, l2 you have l2 you have ks2 you, and you have q so basically minus 13.75 equal to minus 5 that is ks2 given in the question times 25 plus psi p divided by 25 and from this you can calculate psi p equal to 43.75 centimeter and that is the uh, final answer.